I had a whole bunch of these MOSFETs. I bought them in a dump shop. They were all on the same board. And I soldered them all from the board. Uh, it is the 76143P MOSFET. And um, I started to do some experiments. I was interested in the properties from the MOSFET. And I found that it was not easy to get uh, an indication about their properties. So at first I tried to do a sort of a static measurement with an ohms meter, this ohms meter, 20,000 ohms each volt. But I found that for instance the resistance between the drain and the source uh, was very variable. Sometimes um, indefinite, sometimes 400 ohms, sometimes 20 ohms. So I thought there must be a better way to test a MOSFET. And finally I found that when I uh, mounted the MOSFET in an oscillator circuit uh, it worked or it didn't work when it was bad or when um, it was burned out. So uh, my idea was to make um, a MOSFET tester with an oscillator circuit and only meant for N MOSFETs negative and only meant for power MOSFET power MOSFETs. And this is the schematic. In fact it's a normal oscillator. The signal from the output here coupled back to the input. Uh, of course the phase from such an oscillator circuit must be OK. And that means when the circuit doesn't want to oscillate, flip this wire this connection with this connection and or flip this connection with this connection. The coil was made from 0.2 millimeters isolated copper wire on a ferrite rod from 1 centimeter diameter and approximately 4.5 centimeters long. That's here. First uh, I first covered the rod with uh, isolation tape and then made all the wirings on it. 100 turns on the primary, 200 turns on the secondary and here the signal is coupled back to the MOSFET, the MOSFET under test and when this MOSFET is healthy the whole circuit starts to oscillate and it's on a quite high frequency. It's between uh, 100, sorry, uh, 10.9 kilohertz and 7.9 kilohertz. This is of course a tank circuit, frequency dependent, and when you uh, raise the value from this capacitor, the frequency will go down. But I found that um, the amplitude also went down, so that's why I kept the whole circuit. Uh, with this component, with these components. With the 1 mega ohm potentiometer, that's here, you can set the whole circuit to oscillate. And that's also the way of testing connector unknown and MOSFET. Here with some crocodile clips, this is an unknown MOSFET. Sorry, it, I know uh, which MOSFET it is, but when it's an unknown MOSFET you connect it here. And then you watch on the oscilloscope whether you see an oscillation. And here you can see a clear oscillation from this MOSFET. Um, this is the frequency that belongs to it. It is uh, approximately 10 uh, kilohertz. 10.8 kilohertz on my counter and I hope that um, this video camera and YouTube is able to uh, indicate also the sound that I hear now 
it's approximately 10 kilohertz, so it's quite high from this speaker. So now I put out the sound. I hope you can hear the difference. Put it in, put it out. But this is uh, a way to test an N power MOSFET. And I think also that this is a schematic that everyone interested in electronics can make. This is of course the experimental circuit, but uh, finally I'm going to make it in a neat box. And um, that uh, can help me, I hope, when I am uh, designing more circuits with uh, N MOSFETs, negative MOSFETs, N power MOSFETs. And this is the MOSFET under test at the moment. And by the way, I also tested this MOSFET, the PUZ71A. And I also found that uh, a transistor that is not a MOSFET, but has certain properties, um, also works in this oscillator circuit. So the BUT11AF also works as an oscillator, but other NPN transistors did not work as an oscillator. So um, I think this circuit is uh, better usable for MOSFETs.